What's up guys? So what we're gonna be doing today is kind of finishing off where we started yesterday or a couple of days ago or last week, last month, I'm not sure. Pretty much, you know, changing her face a little bit. Now what I'm gonna be using here is the 4-in-1 bundle skin gen premium with ultimate morphs realistic human skin and makeup sfx so this is what we're going to be using it's an add-on plugin you can get with character creator 3 plus so let's go back to this and like i said we kind of want to change her face a little bit because it looks standard from straight from the template so it's just i'm going to go over some of the options that you can do using that bundle that i just showed you guys all right so if you go to the content and we're gonna just go through it really. Uh, if you see right here, you're gonna see all the presets and stuff. This is the template for the full body. This is only for the skin. And this is for makeup, clothes, accessory, and this is motion or pose, okay? And this is stage elements. So you can apply an entire full body preset on this character, but I don't wanna do that because I want to do it kind of like one by one, all right? Because if I, let's just see, I'm going to click on this one and watch what happens. Now, if you're in a rush and you want to just slap something on real quick with your character, then obviously you can do it that way. But as you can see, it changed quite a bit of her physique. She's a little bit skinnier. Her face looks thinner and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but, you know, like I said, I'm going to show you what you can do rather than just copy and pasting uh, one of the templates all right so i'm going to control z that real quick and that's going to take us back to this page here okay so now that you kind of saw what the templates look like let's go ahead and go through them to the more customized option here so if i go right here this is skin now this is where the magic happens similarly to the previous page you can do an overall pretty much template you can click one of these and it's gonna affect your character but what I'm gonna do like I said is I'm gonna do uh, one at a time starting with uh, the skin I don't need to because she's wearing clothes it's fine skin base I'm not gonna do that either I'm really more worried because I mean as you can see she's pretty close right so I'm just worried about her face making her face realistic as much as possible right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do, this is the facial wrinkle. I'm going to show you what this does real quick. I'm going to go to the realistic human skin one. See if I can find any. No, oh, those are going to make her look really old. So I'm going to try, let's see what the eye crease does. Okay, so you probably saw it it said we're entering the skin gen mode and we are indeed in skin gen mode because as you can see right here it's telling you you're in skin gen and right here is where all the layers are gonna be think of this as like photoshop layers or after effects layers you can stack up all the layers you want here you can pretty much stack up all the layers right here to create your character you can change the opacity similar to like i said photoshop or after effects so right now we have the crease on our eye can i see that makes you look a little bit more tired now if you don't like that you can just delete it really easy just like that and we are in skin gen mode so that means that we don't want to mess around with clothing or anything like that uh because this is gonna it's gonna make you exit the skin gen mode this is a special mode that lets you edit the skin so let's take a look at the lip female see what this does all right so as you can see there it made her lip look drier seems like a little bit older so i'm gonna go ahead and delete that uh there's plenty of options here so what i'm gonna do is go to these levels i actually like this levels here this is really cool uh if i go let's see female this is gonna add some pretty much detail to her face if i go before and after see that i mean that's what kind of makes like to make something realistic you kind of want to put some dirt and trash and stuff on it because you don't want it to look plasticky right so let's let's add a couple more let's let's add a two uh, level in there so you can see it's getting pretty rough and then let's find another female here and then we're gonna pretty much just you know turn it on and off and then on the ear right here actually adds a little cool effect on the ear right there because 
nobody's ear is smooth like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That looks pretty good. And like I said, this is layered, so you can turn it on and off if something is too strong. But, you know, we'll leave it as is. And the secondary, that's what's making the big difference, really. So, um, I'm going to go before and then after. Oh, sorry after so we're adding some texture on that face and i know a lot of people ask me you know when i upload those unreal engine 4 videos it's you have to get realistic here if you want it to be realistic in unreal engine 4 okay so like i said i'm not gonna mess around with the body because she should be clothed later on she might be naked right now but once we get out of skin gen she should have her clothes back on okay so let's see here skin decal if you want you can change her lips the way it kind of looks see that changed it like i said you can subtract the opacity i don't know why you would want to do that with a lip but just kind of showing you and what's cool about it is if you go here you can actually edit these layer masks in photoshop if you want and you can change all the texture settings look at all of these settings you can change the scale and my favorite part here is actually the uh normal strength and then roughness because to me i don't know that roughness just sells realistic to me but you know that just might be me uh but yeah so let's look at skin noise we already gave her some noise capillaries is really like let's see i'll show you this one pretty much you're showing some veins on her face here so you can see right there look at that that's kind of cool but you don't want to do it too much so i'm gonna go before and after and i'm gonna you know increase it if you're trying to create some scary movies you can do that but she's supposed to be a cop so you know just maybe maybe like a light just some something just something and as you can see i'm not really tweaking too much here i just kind of want to give you an overview of what this skin gen plugin is for uh for an for character creator three and roughness again um if i go here you can make her forehead uh her, you can make her skin dry or you can make it oily so let's go ahead and try one so you can see it right so i'm going to add it to my layer here and so you can see add a little bit of oiliness there all right so that looks kind of cool but i don't know how that's gonna take with the unreal engine for lighting so i'm gonna turn that off for now and if i decide i'm gonna go ahead and save this <laughs> Since we're talking about Unreal Engine 4, I don't want it crashing and then I'll have to redo everything again. So let's go ahead and save that. But like I said, the, I don't know how it's going to work with reflections. So in Character Creator 3, I try to just get as much detail as I can and I don't get too fancy with it, right? So bl Blemish, if you want to add freckles on her, you can do that as well. So if I go here, you know, add a little bit of freckles, you see that? Just mild. So as you can see, we're starting to create some really nice texture on her face from you know just starting out with a plain face that was just kind of like bland you know looks like a cg looks 3d and you don't want it to look 3d you want it to look photorealistic so here you go there's a lot and we'll just give her maybe a little bit okay that looks kind of cool All right so let's do some before and afters that's the before face and that's the after face we've done quite a bit with just a couple of clicks if you want to go back to that, the realistic human skin, you can add more. Uh, right here is heavy, really heavy freckles. And then if you want some nose, you know, if you want her to look like that, you can. Pretty pretty cool stuff there. Some old presets. Uh, you can add some mole as well if you want to add that on her body. And then acne as well. It's pretty cool if you want to add acne on that. So, you know, technically she's a cop, so she should be really stressed out. And you can also do some suntan or any su suntans for the skins. But like I said, she's going to be clothed, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, another cool thing about this Skin Gen Premium is the dirt scar. The scar looks really cool. So let's just um, let's just do it for fun, right? And I'm going to take it out. Uh, so you can see it's not there right now because I have to move it. So let's see. There you go. There it is. Ooh, you know, you want to make her look like a character of some sort from like a fantasy game or something like that. You know, you can make her look like that. That looks really good. And you can customize the crap out of this. Look at this thing. You can rotate it if you want. Look at that. Oh, looks cool. 
and you can blur it if you want, but you can also bevel it, which is really cool. The expansion, look at this. That's so cool. If you want so just a subtle one, you can do it like that. But that's the acquired one. You can also do tattoo. It's so crazy, like, what you can do with this. You know, you can give her a head, ta head tattoo, like if she was a gangster or some sort. Uh, let's move this in place. So if we go to... Uh, where is my XYZ? It was in here. You guys see it? Oh, there it is. So if I go to offset, I can offset that face. You know, make her look like that. Again, another fantasy character. Really cool. So let me go ahead and delete that. Okay, so if we go to tattoo, that's what I just showed you guys. These are just presets. And the thing that's really cool is I really hope Relusion keeps on adding stuff here even if it's paid but if it's good quality i really think they have something here but what i'm hoping for is one day relusion and epic games together they can make this even better like just get photorealistic stuff out of this combination it is truly insane um but yeah that's that's a lot of stuff to look forward to i hope they keep developing this here because they got something really cool so liquid, um, not sure what this is. Oh, like blood and stuff. So here you go. Let's let's double click this one. There you go. So you know if she's just um, you know cooking some some food and some blood spattered all over her face, then that's that's that. That looks really cool. But that's more like you know special effects kind of deal. Uh, you can also do scales on her face if you want. Not sure why you would want to do that. Maybe you're making like a superhero movie. You know, that's really cool. Some creative stuff there. So let's go ahead and take that off. Now you can also give her some body hair and some nails, which I'm not going to really deal with right now because she is going to be a cop. They don't have time to get their nails done, guys. They're busy. They're working, right? So um, let's go to skin gen tools. You can also, you know, do some UV transfer if this is some advanced stuff right here. It's just really cool stuff. Uh, you can do some custom dec decals. So that's that stuff. Okay. So with this face like this, what we're going to do next is... Let's see here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. The full skin, skin base, blemish. We added a lot of texture to that face, which is good. It's going to translate uh, decent in uh, Unreal Engine 4. It's going to translate really good in Real Engine 4. And the part of the 4-in-1 premium uh, package is the makeup SFX, which is, this is actually really cool. Now, you do have some, you do have some presets in there that they, uh, that they give you. Now, obviously, she's a cop, so, you know, this is going to change here it's really cool, in a cool way. So, she's a cop, so we're looking for something... And I don't know nothing about makeup, obviously, but um, we're looking for something conservative here since, again, she's a cop, so she probably won't have time to do all these cra crazy makeup stuff, right? So probably just like foundation or something. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Eyeshadow, I'm not really a fan on how that translates in Unreal Engine 4. I mean, see, that's that's not bad you know just adding a little bit of three dimension in there that's not bad at all i think i think that's gonna be okay we're gonna go with that all right we're not gonna get too complicated um but yeah that was a te full template but you can do foundation all of this here highlight eye makeup eyelash lip eyebrow and sci-fi oh this is for like um cyberpunk stuff so let's go ahead and turn that on just so you can see because that's you know that's really um in right now so that's kind of cool that's if you're creating some cyberpunk cgi or something like that that's cool they need to make more of that because that's that's actually i need that because um i'm trying to create something in the cyberpunk world because that's really that's really uh, popular right now all right, similar to the skin, you can also do all of these right here, advanced ones uh, for the tools for the hair and makeup. So, so let's go to eye here. <clears throat> if I go back to the base, 
I'm just gonna change your eyes to something else. So it's not just the standard. Okay. The target, do you wanna replace this object? Yeah, let's go and replace the eye. So we're not adding to the eye. Okay, so that looks kind of weird. I don't know if I like that. So let's go with not hive wire. Let's go to let's pick one of these ones. Maybe look Debbie. I think Lori is her name. So that's the eye that she's using. Maybe give her like green eyes or something. Okay, she looks kind of weird with green eyes. Doesn't look too good. Let's try Christie's. And these are all characters. That's why they're named like that. Uh, I think we... Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. We can keep that for now. Yeah, I think we can do that. Um, let's see here. Go back to the base. I'm not going to mess with the hair because I already have her hair. And there you go. She is good to go. Ready. And I think I'm going to leave this character just like this. And what I'm going to do now is just work on the guy, which shouldn't be that hard. I already have something uh, done for him. I just got to tweak it a little bit. But that's the face that we're going to be working with. And then what I'm going to do is if I go to the skin gen again. All right, so I just went back to the skin gen here because it changed it whenever I went to the eyeballs. Um, but right here in texture, I'm going to crank this up to 4K. And that's going to increase the texture of this mesh and it's going to look really freaking good and that's another thing that we're going to be looking forward to is hopefully one day they will actually increase that to like 8k because that would look amazing and as you can see by just changing that to yeah let me go ahead and show you so that was like 2k pay attention to this right area right here look at that blurry right but if you go to 4k you get detail up the yin yang and it's amazing all right guys so that's pretty much it um i kind of just went over what you're getting with that skin gen plugin and i'm gonna save it so it doesn't crash if you have any questions let me know and like always thank you all for watching i got a lot more content i got some really good stuff coming our way hopefully this week and next week uh but yeah see you guys later